Okay, so in the first video, we showed how to get these quickly seven quick points on the unit circle. First, we showed the speed technique, then we showed it using special triangles where the hypotenuse is one, or the radius, in this case, of our circle is one. Now, we look at another interesting aspect of a unit circle, that arc length, S, is equal to theta. And that's because, if you remember, arc length in general is theta and radians times the radius, right? That's the general formula. But in a unit circle, we have a special situation that arc length equals theta times the radius of one. And theta times one is just theta. So in general, we can say for a unit circle, your arc length is your angle measure theta. So you'll notice in this textbook section that they often refer to trig functions based on what they call t, which is the arc length, essentially, a number, an input, which is really the same as s, which is really the same as theta. So if we talk about the unit circle, and I say that theta is pi over 6, that's referring to an angle, right? It's referring to this angle here. But in the textbook, they might say that t is pi over 6. That's the arc length. But this arc length and, and uh, this angle and radians are equivalent things because the arc length is the radian measure in a unit circle. So that's the second, I think, major thing to think about in the unit circle. The first is how to set it up with some of those basic points and how it's formed from special triangles. And I think the second thing is to recognize that because we have a radius of one, our arc length measure and our radian measures are always going to be equal. Thanks.